good evening and welcome to our today's tutorial on arcgis today we will be discussing about spatial analysis different types of spatial analysis and what can we do with arcgis in terms of different types of analysis so first of all we have a shape file of different things you can see uh, these are just points but in reality these points are representing something if you go into properties and then to symbology and you category everything and assign different colors and then press apply you can see uh, the things now has different colors a different color for each segment if you go to the attribute table you can see my points are representing something like my point zero is representing a mosque and my second point is representing a culvert so if we list it then you can see i have so many things in here so when doing spatial analysis i might need some of them and i might not need some of them so suppose you can see there are uh, lots of things but I need the educational institutes among them so when I want to select uh, specific things you know how can I do that you can go to select by attributes and then you press type and press get unique values okay now you need college and school suppose you need only college and high school so double click on type and then press equal to then you select college and you, you need either college or high school so you will definitely give an odd and then high school okay then press apply and this this ends up in error because I need to press type equal to again yes the, this has been verified successfully and then we apply and then you can see my high schools and where are my colleges and my colleges are selected okay now you can close this and then you can see um, these are highlighted in here okay now you right click on this layer and go to exp data and then export data and then you, you will obviously want to export the selected features so the selected features this layer source data definitely and then you choose your folder for me it will be changed into making of analysis tutorial and then always remember very carefully rename your file to what you can later remember suppose colleges and H scores okay then you save it and then I want to add this layer in my view then I actually don't need the previous file so I'm gonna remove it just to be just to keep my window clean okay then I zoom to layer these at the colleges and high school in my window now suppose I need to give it a little bit style so go to uh, let me go to property just click on this dot and then uh, search for something good like if there is anything representing a school or something okay let's search for school 
so this is how we can change the symbol so this looks quite good now let's go to the spatial analysis you go to geo processing and then you can see the most used thing will be in here like buffer clip intersect union merge or dissolve these are the most used thing that's why in geo processing these things are given in here but if you need all of the items then go to our toolbox and then go to analysis tools and then you can see there is so many things like extract overlay proximity and statistics okay these are all the analysis tools you will be need and there are more if you need then you have to download many add-ins you will find online okay the first thing we will be showing you this is the buffer option so go to proximity and then double click on buffer so the most important thing about this arc toolbox is the help option there is a show help button you press show help and this will guide you exactly as much as you need you click on input feature you click on output feature everything will be described in the help option if you need more help than that then press tool help this will guide you more detailed okay my input feature is obviously the colleges and the high schools and my output feature class will be we will be renaming it later i will tell you why linear unit now how long will be the buffer that means the radius so i want the radius to be uh, 300 meters okay 300 the unit is meters then the method is obviously planar because i have uh, two dimensional data then then this is the dissolve type okay and first showing a uh, no dissolve buffer okay so now i have a 300 meter buffer and no dissolve so i will be renaming this to 300 buffer uh, underscore no dissolve so this will help me to remember what i did in this file and then press ok okay close it and as you can see this has created some buffer layers and the buffer layers are all of them are independent layers and they did not actually cross another they just overlapped one over one okay then i'm going to buffer again and this time i will keep the linear unit to suppose 200 meter and there will be a dissolve type and give all okay so everything will be dissolved and then so that i will rename it to 200 buffer and all dissolve okay then i press okay then i close it and now you can see the buffers are different the buffer has created a unity and the nearer circles have merged together and created a polygon shape okay now there is a thing there is actually two types of buffer i showed you both but if you need something like a different buffer for different position then what we will do you will do not linear then you will do choose the field option and when you choose the field option you have to have some field containing the data so let's create the data tool first okay go to college and school open the attribute table then 
add a field, give it buffer distance, then you know what to do. This is 20. Okay. Now you have to press some data in here like you have to keep the editing on for this purpose. Okay, I will be editing college and high schools. Okay. Then then you input some data. Okay, now I have a column ready with buffer distances. Okay, then I close this and go to my buffer option again. And then I choose this and then I rename to rename this to list buffer. Okay, this is my list of them. then I choose fill and now you can see I have an option in here which is buffer distance and then oh, okay I okay I want to dissolve it and then I press okay close it close everything else now you can see there is a very different buffer for each of them look at there this has a very small buffer and this has a very big buffer radius. Why is that? Suppose in an area a college has more importance and suppose a college is covering like 2 km of the area whereas a primary school will be serving like 200 meters or 300 meters radius area. So then there will be your changed buffer distance. So this is all about buffers then we can move to our next option which is i believe the clip option or uh, no mm, showing something a thesian polygon if you have heard it we want to create a thesian polygon and explain you what this means Okay, as you can see, I have a thesian polygon in here. If you don't know what is thesian polygon, then it's a bit difficult to explain, but I'll explain. Suppose in buffering, what we see, there are some areas which is not under coverage, but does it happen in reality? No, because everything can be covered there might be a distance which will be inaccessible or uncomfortable but there will be a coverage suppose this whole area if, if you can see my mouse area this whole area is dependent on this school and this whole area is dependent on this school these people of this area won't be going to that or that school they will be going to this school so it very clearly defines which school is on charge or on hold of which area so this is how you can create a thesian polygon okay now you know which areas are dependent and you also know which are the areas covering which area with the buffer the actual proximity so suppose for a uh, spatial analysis you need those areas which are totally under out of the coverage of the school okay then what you do then you use the clipping section which is under x under analysis and then extract and then go to clip okay so what is my input features? My input feature is the Thyssen polygon. Okay, 
Hessian polygon and then my clip feature will be uh, list buffer okay uh, you don't need to give xy tolerance okay uh, I can change this layer into clipping and then you press okay close it close everything and close all the other areas okay now you have a portion or a map where you can see which areas actually are covered by this and in those covered areas which regions are serving served by which school you can also do just the opposite very quickly how go to geoprocessing and then go to results and go to current session and then double click on your clipping and you can see you will be seeing here the exact thing you used suppose you want the opposite thing so clip list buffer here and give thousand polygon in here and rename it obviously inverse okay then close it and then I don't believe you can see anything okay though it's not really meaningful it's obviously meaningless but just an idea if you can use it to your analysis so this is actually my guideline and this is maximum I can show you the rest of the things is upon you go to our toolbox and then go to clipping or go to extract overlay anything so that's up to you how you use that there there is a help button with every tool go to here go there and do your thing do your special analysis thank you that's all for today